It's super sectional time for girls volleyball at Plainfield North. Matia Valley becomes the first team in their school history to make this appearance in any sport. The Mustangs look to keep the record book flowing by capturing another plaque. Their opponent is the Andrew Thunderbolts, who are coming off their first sectional win since 2003 after taking care of Sandberg and Bolingbrook in the Sandberg sectional. Bolts up 7-6 in the first set and fasten your seatbelts, folks. Emma Bludgeon sets up her teammate Hallie Sullivan for the Mustang kill. We are all tied at seven. Now we're tied at eight in an intense first set. Mustangs return the ball, but the Thunderbolts reset. Some back and forth by both teams until Andrew finally gets the chance. Colleen Cleary jumps up and kills that ball, giving her team a 9-8 lead. 10 all tie with the bolts on to serve. Here is Mustang Annabelle Troy smacking the ball that deflects off Andrews' Katie Dehan. MV takes an 11 to 10 lead. Bolts serving again. It's not a Matia Valley highlight without six foot three Kira Hudson. There she is with the kill, and Matia regains the lead up 15 to 14. However, Andrew is able to fight back and increase their lead up to 19 17. They want to make it a little bigger, and they do with this Gabby Walsh kill that deflects off some Mustangs. High fives are all around, and why not? It's a 20-17 Thunderbolt advantage. Now it's set point for the Bolts, up 24-23. Andrew wants that win, but Mattia wants to keep it alive. Who wants this point in the back-and-forth affair? The answer goes to the Mustangs as Kira Hudson and Jessica Williams are here for the block party, and we are tied at 24. Now it's set point for MV, who holds a 25-24 lead. Andrew sends it back, but once the Stangs get the reset chance, it's Hudson who shows no mercy on the kill. Matia scores the last four points to take a 26-24 set one victory, just like they did two days earlier against Plainfield North. To the second set, all tied up. Thunderbolt, Gabby Walsh tries to send it back, but she's invited to Mora Palafa's block party. That gives the Mustangs a 3-2 lead. Now it's 7-2 Mattia, and here is Reagan Homer with another highlight reel. The senior eyes the ball and makes another amazing dig to keep it alive, and that results with a Hudson kill. Andrew's coach, Emily Connolly, argues that the ball hits the ground, but she gets red carded for a misconduct behavior that results in a penalty point for the Mustangs. 9-2 Mattia Valley. Thunderbolts are down, but not quite out. After the reset, Colleen Cleary gets a much needed kill for her team that cuts the deficit to 11 to five, Mustangs with the advantage. However, Mattia smells blood in the water. Andrew tries to keep it alive, but that sets up more chances for the Mustangs. That chance results in a kill by Annabelle Troy to make the lead 17 to six MV. Match point for Mattia up 24 to eight, and it's an ace from Morgan Rank that shuts the door of the Thunderbolts. Pack your bags, ladies and gentlemen. The Mattia Valley Mustangs are heading to state for the first time in team history after a two set win. They will take on Barrington next Friday in the state semifinals at Redbird Arena in Normal. They are the first team in any Mattia Valley sport to make that appearance after capturing a super sectional championship. It's so crazy. Our whole goal the whole time, the whole season, was to get to state. So it's really cool to be able to finally get there and be able to be excited and work next week to be able to win that game. We were just excited to go, and I think some of our energy turned into nervous energy, but we turned it around and just really amped ourselves up and it put it together. I'm just happy to be part of this team. I'm happy that we can make the seniors last season amazing. I'm just super grateful to be here, especially since COVID took away our season last year. Words can't describe the, the feeling right now. You know, um, you know, our, our student section was amazing. Our, our community's been amazing. Our school's been amazing. Our teachers have been amazing with the support that we had today. Um, you know, we, we, we had two girls, cross country girls going off to state too, and we had a little send off and, you know, a lot of well wishes for us, for them. And uh, I mean, I'm just on cloud nine, just like the other night. I don't think I've come down. It's this has been so, so much fun. And, uh, you know, we're just gonna keep this party going. I mean, I just feel amazing. I'm so proud of these girls. We've worked so hard this whole year, and it still doesn't feel real. It's like a dream right now. 
I'm excited to show what Matia can do. I feel like we've always been the underdog. No one's really expected us to go all the way, and now we're doing that. They'll all be really good close games, and I'm expecting us to come out with high energy, which just makes it all that much more fun, and I'm just really excited to see new people, and I mean, they're not, they're not ready for Matia Valley.